boxing, what did they say? Uh, Hollywood's missing boxing's catch. The lovely Maureen. Congratulations, young lady. Thank you very much. Thank you. Know, you. Last fight, uh, you know, uh, at the Garden, the Felt Forum, big Irish crowd. A lot of intensity, a lot of excitement there. Yes, it was wonderful. It was a great experience for me. Um, I really enjoyed fighting, fighting in front of the Irish fans. And uh, being back in the Garden after being there in the amateurs was wonderful for me. Well, fighting in front of Irish fans, you're fighting in half of your fans because you're half Irish and exactly, half Mexican. Exactly, exactly. I had some Mexican fans there too, which was great that they came out to support me as well. Mm -hmm. But it was just wonderful um, to touch on my Irish roots a little bit. Is it special fighting in Madison Square Garden? Oh, without a doubt. I mean, the greats have fought there. Everybody has fought there. It's definitely special. I mean, uh, you know, for me, it was a little bit more special because I fought the finals of the Golden Gloves there. Um, and I just recently had a girl fight there um, in the finals of the Golden Gloves this year who I'm coaching, Jody Weller. And uh, being back there as a professional, I've been to the Garden three times. So, Jody, how did Jody do? Um, she lost in the finals. It was actually her third fight, mm -hmm. but uh, she did extremely well. Um, she fought actually against my opponent from last year and with a girl with a lot of experience, but she did very, very well. I was very proud of her, and uh, you'll be hearing more about her as an amateur. She I mean, I mean uh, you're, you're too, you should be too busy yourself fighting, but you're, you're training people yourself. Well, I do work with her. Uh, my, my manager actually trains her, but um, I get in there and I work with her a little bit too, uh, give a little bit of peace of me, and I'm never too busy to give back to uh, the amateurs. That's where I came from. Yeah, you know, it's amazing because boxers, I've said that boxers are the greatest of all athletes. Their, their, their mindset, their reachability. Tell me something now, how did you get into boxing? I mean, you should be in front of cameras from a different perspective. Well, I'm hoping to get there too one day, but um, I started boxing uh, when I was 19 years old to get away from a lot of negative energies going on around me. Um, I was a very rebellious child, hanging out in the Bronx, and uh, yeah, oh yeah, you know, like I said, looks can be deceiving. I was, I was a rough one, and uh, Daddy was a Marine. Daddy was strict, but uh, Maureen was saying, no, 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 I'm gonna do what Maureen's gonna do what Maureen wants. So uh, I walked into the, the back of the gym, I found the boxing, and I loved it. I loved the contact. I love that, uh, you know, it's the, the individualism of the sport. The fact that it's all about me in there, and um, mm. it really it, it, it really helped me a lot, mentally, physically, and spiritually in my life. Influences, idols? Influences, um, I mean, my father is a big influence in my life. Little does he know, but mm. he's huge. Uh, you know, he's been an NYPD detective, a Marine. He's overcome a lot of obstacles in his life as well, and uh, he's definitely an inspiration for me. Mm -hmm. And now, you, you speak fluent Spanish? I do, yes. And what about Irish? Is that a language? That, that Gaelic? A language? I don't speak Gaelic. I don't think it's used that much, but hey, if, if it's out there, I'll learn it if I could. <laughs> now, now, what's on the horizon? What do we got coming on for you now? I'm fighting May 19th here in the Hammerstein Ballroom. Um, mm -hmm. This is the, yeah. I'm fighting here um, on May 19th uh, on uh, Lou DiBella's card, which is wonderful. He's never had a woman on his card before. So I'm hoping to make my grand entrance and uh, gain a lot of fans here and hopefully be back again after that. You, know, you got the fans. Tell me something now. Down the line, are you hoping to maybe meet Miss Ali or some of the other bigger names, Jill St. John, those kind of people? Well, uh, Layla Ali is 165 pounds. She's way out of my class. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm 100. I fight actually, I'm a 125 pounder. Alrighty. I fight at 130. So um, there's girls out there that um, I'll eventually get to. I'm taking it one fight at a time right now. I'm 5-0. and oh. So, uh, you know, we're, we're going along, gaining the experience. And, uh, you know, eventually I'll be at the top, and uh, you'll hear about me then. Well, we hear about you. Any modeling? Any modeling? What are you doing outside of boxing? I'm working with Everlast. Um, I, was, I was featured in the Everlast magazine um, last season. Uh, hopefully this season I think they're going to do a little bit of a follow-up. But uh, we're negotiating something with Everlast, hopefully working with them. And, uh, you know, whatever else comes up, we'll see. No money to be said. The most gorgeous fighter in boxing today at 120, 180, or 200 pounds. <laughs> Dr. Stanley Borgen on boxing, the first lady of boxing, Miss Marie.